I remember Coolio stunk it up. It was like the first time. I remember that? Right. See, I remember I was like, what's that smell? Yeah. Yeah, they didn't want to tell us. Yeah, <laughs> Really, you know, yeah. Brian took Nickelodeon over. You know, and Brian Roberts is the new president, and like this was his baby. You know what I mean? Yeah. And we are all his children. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> yeah. it was just like kind of his first idea that he had. You know, just yeah. like try to like gear up a real movement and you know embrace the nostalgia that's been going on. Like you can do so many like reruns and stuff, but yeah. when it's time for like new stuff, this is a great place to start. I feel like the. The fans really brought it back, man. Sure. I mean, you know, everywhere we go, they're still talking about it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, red lights, they, you know, they're saying, yo, do the Good Burger thing, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, and parents have been introducing it to their kids online, and so it's just awesome that now their kids get to experience it, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I'm just excited it's moving yeah. past the point of people trying to ask us to bring it back, you know what I mean? Because, <laughs> no, like, true. it's a kid's network, you know what I mean? And it should be an opportunity for kids to, like, get on, and that's what's, what's happening right now, so. That's yeah. what I'm excited about, man. We got seven talented young right. kids that are about to blow up. You know what I mean? Yeah. We've been working with Nickelodeon over the years on different projects and stuff, so some of the kids have been like cast in other things that we saw that had talent that have come along, and mm -hmm. it's just beautiful to watch God work, man. Like, you know, Pastor Mitchell will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's real. Yeah, like, man, it's, yeah. and seeing the audition tapes and, uh, the kids are good, man. Like, they came in with their own like sketch characters already ready to go. Yeah, man. Not so playing. That was awesome. yeah, not playing. Like, we don't have to teach them nothing. They're like, ready. Just yeah. let them go. Who's that? That's the substitute librarian, Mrs. Hushbaum. I said quiet. You're still yapping. It's cool, man. It's a dope dynamic to like. Uh, come in there and play and do those characters that everyone remembers, you know, like to do Ed and Coach Creighton. But then after that, to do notes with the producers and, you know, and go do that at the same time. It's, it's definitely been awesome. But uh, it's been fun getting back into the suit and all that stuff like that. And then also giving some advice to the kids as well. So yeah. uh, wearing those both hats. Yeah. You know, we've been through it. So to be able to give the kids that advice and, and tell them what to do, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's been pretty awesome. We worked so hard back in those days, you know what I mean? Because Florida, I don't know if they had the unions like that. So we was just doing hours and hours and hours. And we didn't care because it was a dream come true, but it was also in a kid's playground. You know, Nickelodeon is where kids rule, you know what I'm saying? So we just had the best time ever. Get messy, you know, yeah. free orange soda, like whatever it was, you know what I mean? It was just, Anything. everything was great. Learning to perform for four cameras, you know what I mean? Learning to take. Yeah. material and try to throw a voice on it or mannerisms or whatever, you know what I mean? It, it, it taught me everything, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. camaraderie, you know what I mean? Man. Like professionalism amongst each other, respect in the workplace, all that good stuff. Yeah, I mean, coming from, I was coming from theater. I know you had already did a film, but I was like coming yeah. from theater and I, you know, you're supposed to project when you come from theater. Oh, and I man. remember I was on yeah. set and it had like the boom mics like that. And so I'm like projecting yeah. and like the guys are like, oh, hey, Back hey, the house. hey, you know what I mean? And so it's a, it's a learning curve that I had to learn with being on television. Uh, but I mean, man, it's been awesome. Now, as principal, I, Principal William Baines Pimpel, will be taken into our local medical hospital. I mean, I always hold Mavis and Clavis highly yeah. because that was like our first kind of bonding moment where it was like, oh man, this guy is like super funny. The only thing worse than that old crazy looking pebble is my sad, miserable life. Coach Creedon is, you know, highly <laughs> my favorite. Like, distant second would probably be Pierre Scargo and stuff like that, but. Yeah. It's just cool, you know, just to have the opportunity to bring those things like yeah. back to life for real, you yeah. know what I mean? While passing the torch to some new kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've seen somebody asked about Amanda Bynes. Is there mm -hmm. any chance, any headway in her possibly making a cameo appearance or something? That'd be awesome. We hope so. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm, I haven't been in touch personally, but you know, the door, I'm sure the door is open, yes. wide open. And, you know, it's she's, open. One of the beloved, you know, and like any one of our cast members is beloved. We want Gabriel Iglesias to come on in. You That'd know what I'm saying? Brother Nick Cannon, like, get out yeah. there. And, like, uh -huh. get... We had Josh, uh, Josh come on there. Uh, yeah. Lori Beth comes on doing Miss Fingerly. So it's been awesome, man. We want, we want the whole cast to come yeah, through and play with us. Any crazy <laughs> backstage moments that you guys remember finally? Uh, well, I remember Coolio stunk it up. That was like the first time. Remember that? Right. See, I remember I was that. like, what's that smell? Yeah. Uh, they didn't want to tell us. And that was amazing. What's that in there? <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, LL Cool J, Mama Jokes. Oh. He's nice. 
next time he up <laughs> asked oh, him about his mama jokes, I remember we were all battling with mama jokes. Yeah. TLC, mm-hmm. uh, hanging out remember with him. off the show, just being like in the Nickelodeon fam, like doing the big help and stuff. Like yes. the first time we met Whoopi, we like <laughs> saw each other like underneath right. bleachers. And she like ran around to come and meet us. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how cool she is. So like stuff like that. Like people that just love kids. You know what I mean? It's just it's yeah. what it's all about. Did you guys remix the theme song? <laughs> that's a good question. That's a good question. Can it's we talk about that? Dad? I don't. I mean, I, yeah. I feel like we can talk about it. I just don't oh, yeah. know if it's finalized. Like we're trying to go back and forth because we want to show respect. You know what I mean? And yeah. All of that. So. Yeah. But it's gonna be dope. So, and you know, it'll probably be an on going discussion, you know what I mean, as it goes along, mm-hmm. because everybody's not gonna be like, oh, you know, I'm fine with that. Of mm-hmm. course, that's the day we live in. Yeah. But, you know, we we never wanna like take away from what made it great in the first place, and that was TLC, you yeah. know what I mean? So, Theme song's amazing. Anything else, I feel like you have to add on top of that. Yeah, I do events, man, with Timeless. like, with teens and stuff like that, and then we played all that song, people go crazy. Right. In college events, they play it, like, it's, it's, it's still it's like the different ground. strokes. Yeah. It just, you know, it works. Different strokes. Yeah, it works. <laughs> you got to move on top. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I gotta ask, could there, could there ever be any chance for a good burger, too? I mean, people keep asking, we already said it. We, yeah, we, 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 yeah, yeah, it's not in our hands. You know what I'm saying? It's, like, it's the people who got to make it happen. They got to give them the check, and then they got to tell they them the nothing. They don't want to be told right. what to do. Gotcha. So yeah, I get okay. that. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, then we can do it. I mean, we yeah. probably get it done in six weeks. I want everybody to see these kids because they, they're so great, you know, and, and, and just embrace them and, you know, and give them all the love and support that they need to grow and become their great selves, man, because they, there's, there's so much potential there, you know. And what's dope is the, uh, the audience shows. It's like we have a crowd of like the 90s fans, so the parents are in there, you know what I mean? Like I remember the, the first week we shot, it was mostly adults in the audience. It was yeah, like, right? it was kind of crazy. And then we were like, yo, wait, we, we gotta have some kids up in there. Cause but the parents right. are like, no, nah, right. no, nah, I'm, I'm up front. Yeah. I want to see this. Like, you know what I mean? So it's definitely a love there. I, I feel like this is going to be the first show where we bring like the family time back together where everybody's not in different rooms in the house watching different mm-hmm. things. Like everybody's going to come and watch the show together. So. Like the nostalgia is here uh-huh. in all of its gray formality. You see all this gray? <laughs> you know what I mean? It is real. <laughs> we, we definitely poke fun at a lot of the current stuff. Yeah, yeah people are, are going to dig it. It's going to be a nice, nice mix where the new generation and the adults are going to love it together. It's a nice mix. It's all about these new kids, you know what I mean? And giving them and surrounding them with all the support yeah. that they need to make everybody in America see what we see. <laughs>